so this week's episode completely went in a different direction than I thought the series was going to go, and I'm very surprised with where we ended up with episode 3, but I'm happy with how this episode ended. Now, if you followed my episode 1 and 2 reviews, you know I was under the assumption that this series would kind of bait and switch the viewer. Will they? Won't they? And then if they did end up together, it probably wouldn't be until the end of the season or the end of the manga that it's based off of. But I'm really, really interested and kind of impressed that they went the direction they did. Because in this episode, it's constantly making the manager question, there's no way that this 17-year-old girl likes me, I'm just an old man, it's probably a prank. And he keeps trying to convince himself that, no, she doesn't like him. But they go the route in only three episodes to really sell the message that, no, she does indeed like this manager, the guy that she works for, even though he is 28 years older than herself. And what I like with this anime, a lot of people who have been saying, like, the age difference is too much for me. And I agree. I wouldn't want to be romantically involved with someone who is 28 years older than me. However, what I really, really like is that... People tend to forget this. Like, it's not always what we would do as the viewer, you know, we're not in control of the series. It's about watching a story unfold for different characters. And what I like with this is we've had so many romance anime that have been the constant age group and just consistently the same story time and time again. You can get it refreshing, I think, just because in last season was really, really refreshing for being in a setting we've seen done a dozen times over every single year. But what I adore is that when we watch anime, we're more or less put in a god's perspective. We get to see exactly what all the characters are seeing and doing. So if there is misunderstandings, if there is some shady business, we typically know that. And what I enjoy about this show is that in these three episodes, I feel like we have a pretty good grasp on both Akira as well as the manager, and we can tell both of these characters have pure intent. Now, yes, there is tons and tons of relationships, and maybe even a majority of the very big age gap differences typically are done for one thing or another. There's plenty of females who go out with significantly older guys for money. Happens time and time again. Look at old Hugh Hefner, you know, the only reason he had all those playmates is because of his money. Like, we can agree with that. And then also, there is plenty of older men who pry on younger women and use their power and just their money and whatever else they have to get what they want. But in these three episodes, I feel like we have seen a pretty good understanding of both of their mentalities. The fact that this episode was the manager trying to convince himself and trying to play it off as like, nah, this is a prank, or, you know, I really even shouldn't even be considering this because she's so younger. We understand he's not the type of guy who would use his age and his, like, just power over this girl. And at the same time, we know that Akira isn't just someone who's trying to get money out of the manager. Maybe she is, and that'll be like a twist ending. I feel like we have a good understanding that this series is trying to go the route of showing that the heart wants what it wants. And maybe this relationship will work out. Maybe it won't, but I just feel like we're just witnessing a relationship unfold that, yes, many people think the age difference is too much. I agree. I wouldn't want to be in that type of relationship. However, other people do. And I think as long as both parties are of legal age, and in Japan she is of legal age, I'm pretty sure. Yes, in North America she's a year off, but really a year off isn't that much difference. Most people are going to say, oh, you're four years old and you're with an 18-year-old? What's wrong with you, you crazy bastard? But still, as long as both parties want the relationship, I think it's fine. I mean, people should live their life how they want to. And I think the way this episode ends, I'm very, very interested in the remainder of this season. Like, I was excited for episode three, but seeing how fast and actually the fact that they're starting to put these characters in a relationship and they're starting to show us a relationship that... Really, when's the last time anime has shown us something like this? I am just stoked to see episodes 4 through 12 here. This was a really good episode. The fact that we're seeing a relationship that is very uncommon in anime and even is looked down upon by the general public, not just within the anime's world, but in our world as well. It's going to be refreshing to see if they do fully put these characters in a relationship, how others are going to look down. I assume we're going to see some shunning at her school and we're going to see maybe some employees or even people who come into their cafe look down upon this manager as being maybe just a predator even though we know he isn't and I think that's going to be interesting because it's going to show us the struggles probably of just the issues with even if two parties like each other and they're both of legal age the general public people just like to judge society is a very judgmental thing you do one thing wrong or even in the case of doing something right but just people say it doesn't suit my interest so I'm going to judge this person and shame them and try to ruin their life and career that happens time and time again and I think it's so interesting that we're witnessing a show that is as polished as this, that feels as comfy and just fun as this, and it doesn't come off as creepy to me. This definitely has that Ori Monogatari feel, where it is feeling like a very comfy romance that 
it could end up in a place of satisfying like it j actually ends or it could completely end in heartbreak but nonetheless it's very interesting to see both of these characters because i feel like we have a good understanding of both of their mentalities and we know neither one of them as of right now are trying to use or abuse the other it actually feels like that this could be a genuine relationship where both parties aren't just maybe attracted to one physically but also emotionally as well and i really enjoyed episode three i was very surprised by the direction this went in but it was a very good surprise. Like, I can't wait to see how episode four is going to go. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be kind of weirded out by the age difference. But for me, like I said, I wouldn't want to be in a relationship at that big of an age difference. But still, I watch anime because I don't want to witness stories that I can live every day. But to see other stories and just other worlds come to life and just have a good, satisfying experience. And so far, this series is definitely one of them. But let me know your thoughts. What did you think of episode three and the direction it went in? Personally, I did not see this coming. I thought we were just going to do the will they won't they for the entire season but let me know your thoughts down in that comment section below and before you leave smack that like button to share your support if you need to be sure to subscribe so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one